Hey, what's up, nerds? It is Paul at Radio Free Hammer Hall. Today, we have a very, very special show. I have my lovely daughter here, Cadence. Hi. And we are going to be helping her to choose her first Age of Sigmar slash Spearhead Force. Now that we have Spearhead coming out in, well, probably a few weeks at this point, all the rules have been kind of slowly leaking out to the public. Um, I'm excited for it. I think it's going to be a really good way to get new players into Warhammer. And uh, so I thought this would be a, a cool on-ramp. So you've been like hanging out and like watching me Warhammer forever. Yeah. Play, like, paint. Yeah. And literally since you were born. But yeah, basically I like started to like notice that it might be something I would like to do when I was around five. And then I started like talking to, I don't know, like last year that I wanted to do this like two years ago, maybe like that I wanted to like help you with stuff. Mm. And how old are you now? For nine. the for the class year nine. nine, yeah. So so we got we got we got a real newbie. What we're gonna do today, um, and before we get started, I just want to apologize to everyone. We we both have like scratchy, dry throats from allergies and probably a cold or something at the moment. So you may hear um, sucking on Jolly Ranchers or cough drops in the background. Uh, chugging water and uh, maybe some muffled coughing. Um, as... Muffled? Well, you, you call know. what I have muffled? Well, I'm asking you to muffle it. I can't. Okay. Anyway. <coughs> so what we're going to do is go through each of the 24 different Age of Sigmar armies yeah. and just briefly talk about each one. And, uh, you know, talk about the models that are in their spearhead or vanguard box or whatever is going to be that. And a little bit about, you know, how the army generally plays with the sort of caveat in there that, um, you yeah, know, we don't exactly know what they're going to be doing in spearhead just yet um, or what things are going to be like in the new edition, but they're, they tend to keep everything basically the same flavor wise and general concept wise. I mean, a lot of it's model driven anyway, uh, as to like what these things do anyway. So we're going to go through all the armies, going to talk a little bit about the narrative side, a little bit about the gameplay side, a little bit about the painting and hobby and the models themselves. Um, we're going to start, uh, you know, knocking out the ones that are going to be definite no's. go through and, uh, hold on to the ones that might be good candidates and once we get through all of the armies take another quick spin through and try and you okay over there oh uh, dog checks me oh yeah <laughs> that happens okay. yeah the dog's hanging out in here too so we're, we're having a blast in my office today um what was i saying all right yeah we're gonna go through the armies and yeah. you, we've already been through stuff a little bit you you have your eye on an army already. Yeah. And um, so we're going to see, make sure that that is the right army for you. And um, yeah, so let's get to it. Let's jump in. Starting, of course, as we always do, starting in alphabetical order with Stormcast Eternals, as one does. Um, so these guys are like the the poster boys of Age of Sigmar. They're... Poster boys? <laughs> well, I mean, like, literally, they're, like, on the poster. There's a... There is... Oh. <laughs> there, There is actually a statue of a Stormcast Eternal outside of Games Workshop headquarters. Why? That's a very good question. <laughs> Why that army, though? Well, it's, it's supposed to be, like, the mascot of the game. The thing that kind of, like, encapsulates and represents everything. You have this? No, I do not. Oh. Um, I used to, but I do not anymore. Um, so these guys, they are all clad in like super heavy armor. They're like super soldiers. Um, they ride down onto the battlefield on lightning bolts. Uh, and in here we have, um, in this particular spearhead box, this one comes with Indrasta, who is one of the female leaders of the Stormcast Eternals, which I know is a thing that you might be more interested in when they got the girls involved. Um, I like my girly pops. <laughs> <laughs> I just swallowed that. 
I just swallowed the Jolly Rancher and it was like that thick. Oh, man. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't want to have to try and stop this to uh, do the Heimlich maneuver or anything, so let's be careful. Um, mm -hmm. So Stormcast Eternals in general, um, as far as like the models you can see from here, most of them are pretty simple. They're like, <laughs> they're a lot of armor and like some cloth and stuff. Can like, see yeah, let's, uh, can we zoom in? Yeah, cool. Because I can't really see it very well. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, so... Girly pop! Yeah. I found a girly pop. <laughs> yes, there are there are ladies mixed into all of this army. I like my girly pops. <laughs> um, this is Indrasta. She has a big cool spear um, and pretty wings. Um, pity, pity. And they have a, a little chariot that is pulled by, I think, I think those are griff hounds, something Griffins. like that. Griffins. So the army in general, um, you know, it's fairly simple to paint because it's a lot of um, <laughs> it's a lot of armor that'll be very like clean and shiny. Golden. Yeah. Well, and of course, you can paint you, it. you can paint it however you want. You don't have to paint it I like this. So yeah, that is actually a very popular choice doing them in silver. Yeah, um, as far as like in the game, what these guys do, um, they're they're an army that has a little bit of everything, but they tend to be like each unit tends to be pretty powerful. So in one list that you're putting in, like on the table for a game, it's hard to have a little bit of everything in any one list. But you have a lot of options available to you. This is also the biggest army in terms of different units that are available like if you decide to scale up to full age of sigmar later on um okay so that, that's a maybe because i like some of it but like most of it's like a little bit meh for me okay it's like so yeah. it it's a little bit mad what do you like about it though i like um that it's like I like I like the like story mm. and like background and stuff, and also I like the shape of the models a lot. Which ah, uh, you like how the models look. I like no, it's not like the paint job. I like the yeah. shape, like the way that they're. There's not too many like zoom in again. Yeah, like, there's not too many like. <sighs> Ah, sharp edges. I'm sorry. That's that okay. Was a eight year old, nine year old touching the keyboard for a minute. Um, um, so, they look like relatively simple to paint. Yeah, and being somebody who's like newer, like that would be a lot easier and simpler. But easier. Did I already say easier? Yeah. How many but times? That's okay. Uh, a few. But. <laughs> so let's keep this one in the maybe pile. And move on to our next one. There's a maybe pile? Well, I mean, the, the, the tab's going to stay open. <laughs> All right, so up next is Cities of Sigmar. Um, this is the army that is all of your just kind of like basic people living out there trying to just have, have a good life out in this crazy mortal realms <laughs> that they live in. Um <clears throat> So this particular spearhead box is all of the humans. Um, in this army, also, there are dwell, uh, dwells, dwarves and elves. Oh, yeah, that is a dwell. Good job. Thanks. <laughs> in case anybody is wondering, um, your children tend to become you, and I have I thoroughly deserve every bit of crap that she gives me throughout this video. <laughs> If not from crap that I've given her, crap that I've given other people throughout history, and it's just coming back to bite me. Anyway. Yeah, I'm going to bite you. It, no, no, no biting. No biting. Okay. So, yeah. so this particular box for Spearhead is just the human side, right? Mm -hmm. Like the Stormcast Eternals, this army is a little bit of everything. Like in this box in particular, you've got a cannon, you've got some guys on horses, and you've got some guys on foot, right? So it's kind of a little bit of all the different you mean stuff. You got some guys on dogs. No, this, these guys are actually on horses. 
No, some guys are on dogs. Not well, not here. Some guys are on dogs. Okay. Their own dog. <laughs> okay. Some so, guys are on their own dog. But, you guys know what I'm talking about. Okay. He's old. He doesn't. So. <laughs> So, do you have any interest in our our human cities of Sigmar folk? Um, I don't really think so. I like like the concept, but I don't really enjoy like. I understand the concept for other people that would enjoy it a lot. It's just not really my kind of thing. Okay, so and the models. Really their new models are also very, very detailed. Um, so I think they would be a challenge to paint. And if you tell, like, the army that nobody knows what it is yet, but um, what, like, that I chose is pretty simple mm -hmm. and is probably the best one, in my opinion, for people who are earlier. Yeah, I actually would agree with that. Um, okay, up next we have the Daughters of Cain. This yes. is our uh, cult of murder ladies that mm -hmm. uh, they they like girl to... Girl power! It, it, well, this is, this is like girl go out and commit genocide on everybody. But, <laughs> um, girl power! Yes. So, hey. so we have in here a mixture of our... They they are they are elves. They, they don't are, look like elves. Well, the ones off on the right, these. Oh, they're elves. <laughs> oh, okay. I have a feeling this joke is not going away. <laughs> um. So. Whoa! Don't die. Okay. Um. So. Off on the right, we have like the snake ladies. They're like mutated to be like half snake, half elves. And then we have some of the dark riders, or uh, no, they're doomfire warlocks. That's what those are in the back. So some folks on horses. This is another box that is pretty well balanced where you have some shooting stuff, you have some cavalry, you have some foot people. Um, so the big thing with this army is that. Um, a lot of it tends to be like not they don't have like a lot of armor uh, but they tend to be stronger on offense so they like to run across the board and if they don't kill the thing that they are trying to kill then they kind of explode um they go crazy or like mental do they mentally explode or do they physically explode um they they will if they don't turn the enemy into a red mist the enemy will turn them into a red mist so Physical. Yeah. So <laughs> it is a cool army. So My monkey! <laughs> My monkey. Wow. Um, if only you guys saw what was actually going on in this room right now. Um, so oh my god, I completely lost my train of thought. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um so I mean, it, it's a very cool army. Some of it is can be kind of hard to paint. Um, as you can see, it's like, they're also, these are very small models. But they are very cool. They have some cool details to them. Uh, thoughts on this one? Um, I'm going to put that in the, I would say, in the final decision. Okay. I would like that where I would. In the point where I am going up against, like, the group of ones that I want, including okay. the one that I'm really thinking about a lot. Okay, so are we not going to put the Stormcast in that pile? Because you sounded less enthusiastic about that one. What? Well, we, we were holding on to the Stormcast Eternals, too. Mm -hmm. But you sound way more enthusiastic about this than the Stormcast. So yeah. are, are we going to still hold on to the Stormcast, or are we going to just dump those and... Dump the Stormcast. Okay. And then um, these put in the yes. Okay. But it's not going to be... It's going to go with the, like... To the fi the final selection. The final selection, yeah. Okay. All right. Up next... Not the yes, yes, yes. The final selection. Okay. So, up Were next... Are these delves as well? Yes. Yes, they are. 
<laughs> um, so this is the Fire Slayers. This is a a, a band. Slay queen. Yes, yes. <laughs> Except there's there's not a whole lot of women. There tend to not be a lot of uh, female dwarves that appear in this game. Although there are, I think there's like one or two models in this range now. So but... there's not tiny chubby little dwarves. I mean, or girls. Yeah, not not <laughs> tiny chubby female dwarves. These are all dudes that are are chubby and mostly naked. And <laughs> Wait, um, zoom yeah, you can see they they're like they're just beard and loincloth. Weird. Yeah, I know. Like if you turn around, if you turn can them you around, see their butt cheeks? yes, you can. <laughs> you, if you if you have a fire slayer's army, you paint lots of dwarf butt cheeks. <laughs> oh, so you're saying it's basically your whole, your whole entire back? Yes. <laughs> Wait, you realize you just said that your whole entire back is a butt cheek, right? Yeah, yeah, I did. Let's see, hold on. Wait. Can, is there actually like a reverse oh. side to any of these in their photos? I hope there is. Uh, hold on. This guy. <gasps> yes, we can spin it. <laughs> okay. Uh, I want to see butt cheek. I gotta hit that button. Bam. Okay. Drag to rotate. Okay. Oh, and ah, damn it. <laughs> okay, this is like not. Working. That literally put two fingers on the keyboard. You know what? I did not ask for your opinion. Tap on it, and then no. Uh, okay. Let me. Whatever. Let no, me. Uh... Let me. <laughs> You're not doing any better than I was. Shut up. <laughs> okay. Let okay. me go. Nope, we're done. We're moving on. I, I, I want to see his butt cheeks. I, I know. It, we all really want to see their butt cheeks. <laughs> um, they are, these guys are from the realm of fire. So that's why they don't wear a lot of clothes because it's hot all the time. Yeah. Um, so they're basically naked all the time. Yeah. They all have cool mohawks though, which is pretty cool. Um, this army does not have a lot of variety in it, and they basically all look the exact same. Yeah, the entire army does basically. It's but very that would hard. Be very tedious, and I don't really want something tedious. Okay, so is this on the no pile? Yeah, that's a delete. Okay, I oh. don't like stuff that's tedious. Okay, so this next one is the. Oh, that's sick. Yeah, this is the Ideneth Deepkin. I don't remember you showing me this one. So these Ever. are like in my life. These are the elves that kind of like live under the water. So, Gosh. so one so of they're delves, more delves. Yes, <laughs> there's more delves. <laughs> um, so, so one of the gods in this world, Teclas, decided he wanted to try and create a race of elves. I thought God is the only God, God's one person. There's many in this game, there's many. You're a god. It's a little blasphemous. Um, <laughs> so, so Teclas decided he wanted to create a race of elves in his own image. Sounds like you. And then, <laughs> so he made the Ideneth. And he kind of screwed it up, and a bunch of them didn't have souls. And so he decided that uh, he was going to kill them all and uh, start over again and create another army of or another race of people. Um, and they were like his first draft. And then when he went to try to kill them all, they all like ran into the ocean and hid under the ocean and now are trying to find souls for the rest of their people that are missing souls and stuff like that. Um, because they live under the ocean. Okay, so basically all of the other people who don't have souls are you. Yes. <laughs> okay, so. I love when I do this and I can just make him say yes to everything, even if it's offensive. <laughs> <laughs> um so so they um they ride a bunch of sea creatures like this box has a couple guys riding a shark there's some guys that's riding... a shark yes it is that's not a shark that's like a whale Ooh, a whale shark maybe but that is not a whale shark anyway <laughs> um these guys are riding eels there's a giant turtle in this army too i want to see the giant turtle i like turtles and um is it a cute sea turtle? there's a guy that rides a seahorse Oh my god, that's sick. I want yeah. to see the seahorse. I want to see the seahorse. Oh, we'll, we'll take a look at that stuff later if you're really interested in it. Yeah. It um, so decent amount of variety and in I this also army. Want to see his butt cheeks. I, I don't cheeks. I don't think there's I don't think there's elven butt cheeks. Well, actually, 
I think you might see in Daughters of Cain, there may be some elven butt cheeks in Daughters of Cain. <laughs> so I like looking at models butt cheeks. That's why I like these so much. These things, the um these they have butt cheeks. Yeah. Some of these have she, butt she's cheeks. talking about nerglings, in case anybody is wondering. And she likes nerglings because they have butt cheeks. <laughs> anyway, so they do look at this guy. It's look at his butt cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> so these guys tend to Mom. like they have some things that are really fast. Um, like their eels and the sharks and stuff, those are really fast. And like when they go fight on land, they bring like this thing called the ether sea with them, which is like a magical ocean. So I lost you at five words. So they're <laughs> they they they're like <laughs> flying through the sky on eels and sharks and stuff. You fly through the sky every single freaking day. I know. Okay, so okay, that's me. Um, but uh, it's not really my thing, so maybe a uh, maybe. Uh. <laughs> um, so but is it like a real maybe, or is this like a not so much maybe? Um, it's like a not so much maybe because also the army looks really detailed. The sea creatures, those tiny little teeth, yeah, and that big mouth that would be very hard to paint, yeah. It could be a little bit of a challenge. Actually, okay. no. It's actually going to be a no. Going to be a no. Okay. Yes. Okay. Slay queen. Okay. Up next, Caradron Overlords. The, these are more delves. Yeah. Yay! They're more delves. So <laughs> they are. Um, they are like sky pirates. Uh, this army's thing is that all of the models in this army have guns. Everybody shoots. Oh. Oh, um, and if you haven't noticed, um, Delves is basically either, so, like, when my dad said Delves, when it was an army of elves and, um, whatever those things are called, dwarves, what, what are those yeah, things called? dwarves yeah. and elves, Dwarves yeah. and elves. He said d Delves on accident instead of dwarves and elves. So now whenever there's a dwarf or an L in a mar in an army, then, um, we just say dwarves now, apparently. Yeah. So yeah. so these are our sky pirate dwelves. Um they have some yeah. guys that float around in like balloon jetpacks. Dwelves are hot. <laughs> um and they have these like sky ships that have guns on them and stuff. Um their guys can like jump in the ships and fly around, which is pretty yeah. pretty unique can like I this jump game. In a ship? Um, so yeah, uh, they're pretty cool. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else like interesting lore wise about these guys. They really like rules and their, their rules tend to have a lot of rules. <laughs> so basically like you. Yes. Like <laughs> like me. What? Yes. Like me. <laughs> Actually no, more like mom. Mom. Yes. Mom, mom is. Mom has rules upon rules upon rules upon rules. And she yes. has rules about those rules. Yes. And rules about so, those rules about those rules. But we need to keep to the rules of actually paying attention to the thing that we're doing right now. I am! Okay. So, um, oh. any interest in our sky delves? Yay. Wait, are they dwarves or elves? They're are, dwarves. Yeah, yeah. Um, except these ones don't have butt cheeks. No, they, they have lots of armor and stuff. Dang it. I like the ones with butt cheeks, so no. Okay. I don't like this one. No Caradron Overlords. Wait, actually, that army is pretty cool. It is kind of cool. Like, but it, it looks really detailed as well. It is. And it's all metal. Like, I, like I started painting that a while ago, and I, like, abandoned it because I did mm -hmm. not like the did, paint. Did you, like, situation. stop painting it? Did you throw it away? I sold it. For how much? Enough. I don't even remember. Anyway. Did you actually so, get the money or did you get it off Etsy? Or did F Etsy get anyway. Um, up next, Lumineth Realm Lords. This was Teclis's second draft of a race of uh, elves in his own image. I almost said delves again. <laughs> no, so, no, please. We have to do the delves. So these guys are, are actually really like... They're the elves that are, like, really good at, like, everything. They really like magic a lot. Mm -hmm. um, so they actually have souls. Yes. They are. They are so very. So like me and not you. 
They are very soulful. I want soul. Um, I got that soul dance. Um, so, yeah. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else like interesting about these guys. Uh, <laughs> this particular box looks a little samey. Um, you got some guys with swords. You got some guys with spears. You got some guys with bows. Very tedious again. Because it's all the same. It's all guys in like cloaks and stuff. Well, also the army that I also chose was also very tedious. Hmm, not entirely. Yeah, there's a lot of difference. But I'm going to say this is a... Also, I realized... So I started painting a war band. And... They had the same crowny thing, mm -hmm. and that was really difficult to paint. So that is fair. So this sounds like a no, then. Correct. All right. Up next, the Seraphon, who are the dinosaurs riding other dinosaurs. Okay, I like this. <laughs> right, like these guys are kind of awesome. Um, yeah, they are space lizards that were like conjured up by a bunch mm -hmm. of magical sky frogs that uh imagined them into existence you know and imagined them so hard that they became real did you know how who would like this one of your friends at school no. oh your brother would like this Perhaps this will be his army one day. But he's still five, so he's a little ways off from this. Yeah, I started, like, noticing that I like this stuff at five, and he's been hanging out with us, wanting to help us with the display board a lot. So That is true. So, um, this army in general really likes magic. Um, however, this particular box is very much just, like, big beefy dinosaurs on the ground um that just like to bonk stuff um and then the like troglodon in the back which is a dinosaur riding a dinosaur um dad do you know the thing um pink fluffy unicorns it's it's like pink fluffy unicorns dancing on rainbows what? yes i am familiar with yeah. this <laughs> what you just said was um big chubby dinosaurs Laying on the ground, standing on the ground. Okay, do you like these guys or not? <laughs> yeah, I love them. You do? They're going oh. in the yes. They're going in the yes pile. So, so I far in the yes pile, we have Daughters of Cain and the Seraphon. Seraph They're my secret army that you will find out at the end. So, Seraphon are also really good for learning how to paint. Um, they are, I don't want to say they're easy to paint, but they're pretty <laughs> easy to make look cool without needing to be really good at painting yet. Yeah. They seem like I like the color of them originally actually. Mm -hmm. But honestly, if I was to paint this, instead of having the shield to be gold and like all the metal, I would want it like bronze. Mm -hmm. And then have the dinosaurs like be different colors instead of being the exact same color. Like all of them are blue. I want more like yellow green orange and blue yeah. like the idea that i've had for this army for a long time is to do like a like neon colors oh that would be sick yeah it would be really cool i think um I mean, I feel but like... really bright colors like that are hard to paint yeah so it would take some because it doesn't look good with many other colors as well like yeah bright neon colors don't look very good with out complementary colors that are bright in neon yeah so it could be a challenge, but also like look really sick. Yeah, you know, I might just have to pick up like a model to try and like mess around with that. Anyway, so we're keeping that. That's yeah, all. You can get a singular model of this stuff. Yeah, like any of this stuff, you can just buy like one thing and like just to. I thought to see you can only like get it. like the really big ones. Mm -mm. Oh. Well, you buy the really big ones all the time. I do. All right, moving on to the next one. The <laughs> hey, you're gonna survive. You good? Yeah. Um, I have a question. Yes. Where did you put your um? What's it called? One. Your um, that guy. <laughs> oh, he's in. The, he's in the case behind you. He is. I didn't even see him in there. He must look really cool. No, not that case. The. Oh, 
because I brought them to a tournament. Oh, oh my god! Anyway, Sylvaneth, these are come back here. <laughs> these are tree people. <laughs> um, Trees. Yes, that are led by Alariel, who is another Delph. Um, yeah, he's a Delph. Is he an elf? It's a she. Oh, that she? is an elf. Yeah, I like elf. Um, and she rides a giant beetle. Um, Owie. so, Ow. you okay? Help me. Oh boy. So <laughs> these guys are, um, they're a, a, like a fun army. They tend to like, like to teleport around the board and things like that. Neato. Um, this one is like a giant tree guy and then a few medium sized tree guys and then some smaller tree guys, which actually represents most of the different stuff in this army. Not very interesting. No? You don't like the trees? No. You're you're not gonna be the Lorax and speak for the trees? <laughs> no. No. I'm not a Lorax. I'm the opposite of the Lorax. All right, so that is the end of the order armies then. Um, so we're going to next move on to chaos, which is all stuff that is like the bad guys that I know you're not really interested in, but we're going to talk about them anyway. Uh, I'm not here. I'm yeah. Not, so uh, first up is Slaves to Darkness. Mm -hmm. This is all of just like the kind of general chaos followers they're not really like devoted to any one particular chaos god um this box is you know a, a chariot and some knights and some warriors on foot um most of this ar army is very like heavily armored so they take a punch really well um and they usually can hit things pretty hard as well um yeah. Uh, any thoughts on this? This is an army that you've seen around a lot because you have them like in this room with us right now on shelves. Really? Yeah, that's what like all that stuff is. It looks really. Wait, I'm gonna grab one. Which one? Is this one in that army? Yes. <gasps> well, actually, sort of not. But actually, you happen to grab two things that are not exactly that army. Grab the guy on the horse. <laughs> Okay, guy on horse. He looks really detailed. He is. This army tends to have tons of little details. Never mind. Not not feeling it? No way. Uh, okay. No way, Jose. Know thyself. I appreciate that you get yourself. This, this is my favorite army. Don't you have that army? Oh, yes. Isn't that this model? Yes. Uh, so, Maggot King of Durgle, God of disease and decay and all of those things so and all of his followers opposite yeah yeah i don't think <laughs> we, we i don't think we had mentioned that one of your criteria is no gross stuff mm -hmm. um so i'm okay with the undead stuff but like if it's zombies no but i'm okay with like skeletons ghosts and stuff but it's mm -hmm. like um no way if it's something gross then I'm like, no. Um, that's what, right. But this model that you have, I love this. I that is, love that's from Cities of Sigmar. Really? Yep. Well, this is so pretty. I mean, if you just want to have models to paint, you can always work on earning some models to paint, too. Yeah, because this is really pretty, and I like the gradient of blue you did. It's like my favorite color. Mm. All right. Gorgeous. So up next, next army we're looking at, the Blades of Corn. Um, so Corn is the god of war and murder and and killing. He likes skulls. He likes blood. He ha he has a throne of skulls that he would like you to collect skulls for on his behalf. Oh wait, isn't that the guy on um, that? Oh wait, you already showed me this army. Yeah. I don't, I wasn't really interested in this. Okay. Really. I have a feeling that from here on out, we're probably going to go through a lot of these fairly quickly and because because no. there's going to be a lot of hard nose here. <laughs> but basically, a lot of the hard nose are going to be armies that you have. Fair. <laughs> um. Up next, Slanesh. 
Um, this is a lot of like weird mutated stuff that is definitely in like the, the category of gross. Ew, no, I don't want to see that up close. Please. A lot of like crab no, claws no, and stuff. Please don't do that again. Okay. <laughs> uh, gross. All right, Disciples of Zinch. He is the god of like change. He's the changer of ways. Um, very, very magic heavy army. Nope. Nope. No interest. Nope. Nope. nope on a rope. No, you don't like the the manta ray guys back here, the screamers. Oh no! Huh. Oh wow, I never noticed there were flamers in here too. That's cool. What's a flamer? These three guys right here, in the middle. Yep. Those are demons that like shoot fire. Oh no! I don't want demon. Demon bad. All right. Um, and I totally missed uh pulling up. Uh, Skaven, but I know Skaven are going to be a hard no because they are definitely in the the category of gross rat people. Oh wait, no. No, no rat people. No, thank you. Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> All right, since this is not officially in like a box yet, but we know it's going to be um, Sons of Bahamut is going to be uh, the thing of three man crusher gargants. So this is just a whole army of giants. For Spearhead, it would just literally be three models is your entire Spearhead force. No, thank you. You don't like Giants? No. We really are going through this fast now. <laughs> wow. Okay, up next. Um, this is the Cruel Boys. These are orcs that live in the swamp. And uh, they, they're, they're very tricky. They're, they're cunning, but also brutal. Are they gross? Are they men? Oh, yeah. Ah, I don't <laughs> care about the price. Too far. Too far. Too far. Too far. <laughs> uh, here. Oh, yeah, no. Thank mm. you. Mm -hmm. All this stuff, I don't want like to be impolite for people who like actually like this stuff, but at the same time, I'm like... I don't like this stuff. I'm sorry to people who I, I understand for people who like this kind of stuff why they would like it, but I don't personally like this. Yeah, and I appreciate that attitude because that's how I am with a lot of this stuff too. But it is totally okay to be like, dude, that's gross. <laughs> um, but yeah, okay, let's move on. Like, not liking the models, I think, is a really important thing. Why do I have this particular one open twice? I don't mm. know. Uh, up next, this one I think doesn't currently have a box, so I just grabbed their old box. This is Iron Jaws. These are a different kind of orcs. They are brutal but cunning, and they are uh, they tend to hit really hard, be really fast, um, and they don't do much besides punch you. Um, and they have lots of armor too. Um, they're not gross. They're actually pretty cool. They have guys that like ride pigs, like giant pigs. That looks really detailed, though. Yeah, they're not too bad, but um, I can definitely see where that would be a challenge. The piggies. To, the piggies are Literally. a challenge to paint. Yes. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna say it though. Okay, up next, Gloom Spike gets. How many of these are there? Twenty-four. How many are left? Uh, like five. We're almost there. Okay. Um, it's like it's been forever. So Gloom Spike gets. They are goblins. And also amongst them are the squigs, which are basically um, mouths with legs. Oh, wait, no. That um, sounds gross. Already. They're very silly, though. Because huh? they, all, they, all they do, they, they just they just eat things, basically. <laughs> they're, they're just a giant mouth with tiny little legs, and they bounce around. <laughs> um, there's also trolls. The troll models, I think, are really cool. Why is this being weird? But anyway. <laughs> we don't want to be, we don't want to know about the price. Yeah, okay. We don't want to know the price. Who cares about the price? Yeah. So, I think it. the I think the troll models are really cool, personally. I have already showed me this army. I probably have. Like, um, times. The goblins are all really tiny. That is the, the downside to them. Like, I don't really, I don't not really feeling it. feel a need. No. I've been going through a lot of no's right now. Well, I mean, that, that's okay, because we're narrowing things down very quickly, and you're making it easy for us. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I only have two, uh, two in the All right. 
Yes. Up next, we have Ogre Maw Tribes. This is, well, they're ogres. They're really big guys, and they're really fat, and they're always hungry. Their kind of purpose in life is to go eat things. Um, they they basically they worship a thing called the Great Maw, which is basically just a giant hungry mouth. Daddy, can I whisper to you something? Yes. Okay, quick. Um... Okay. Okay. So any any okay, I gotcha, I gotcha. Okay, okay. So any interest in the ogres with their, their big big fat bellies? No. No? Even though because I don't want paint big fat bellies. Oh. Because big fat bellies. Yeah, they don't big fat bellies. Yeah, and they don't have they don't have butts hanging out. Yeah. They, they're they're all wearing pants. Yeah. In like no shirt, they're all wearing pants with no shirt. I'm all right, so opposite. we are now into our last four armies. This is Grand Alliance Death. Except for, well, the last one doesn't count because I already know I really want that one. Yes, I know. So that one doesn't so, count. Well, anyway, we're we're into the home stretch here, into Grand Alliance Death. So this is the Ossiarc Bone Reapers. These guys are. Um, they look like they're normal skeletons, don't they? But they are actually skeletons that are made up and molded from the ground up bones of other people. Let me see. I can't tell. So they, they just kind of look like normal skeletons, but they're really, they're called constructs is what they are. They're, or golems. Really detailed. Um, yeah. I mean, they're all, they have like some armor plates and stuff. Um, but doing the bone like that is actually pretty easy. This guy in the back, the Gothazar Harvester, okay. he is uh, what actually goes and like collects the bones and grinds them up to make other stuff. Um, mm -hmm. And this box also has some 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 skeletons riding skeleton horses. I'm not really that interested in this type of area. Yeah, you're not you're not digging it. No. Yo, it was interesting on our first pass through all of these armies when we were not on air. You liked this army a lot. But now I'm just not feeling it. No, you're just not feeling it? Okay. After seeing all the other armies, like, in detail, more detail than last time, like, I'm like, yeah, this is not really digging it for me. Like, yeah. all the other armies were better. Like, a bunch of other armies were better, and I said no to them. And I'm like, yeah, yeah I'm just not digging this. Yeah. Okay. So up next, one that I can guarantee that you're not going to like the flesh eater courts. Oh, they're they're cannibal ghouls and what, bat creatures. So they eat bats and cannibal. And they, they eat people. So they eat me. Yes. And <laughs> the, the cool thing about this army, though, is like the story behind them is that they're all like really delusional. They don't know that they are these. Yeah, well. Well, they don't even know that they're these like inhuman monsters. They think they're all like like kings and knights and lords and nobles and peasants. They think they're in this like, you know, this great like medieval glorious kingdom. Mm -hmm. Um, but they are um that they, yeah, they're Third cannibals. They're they're just horrible cannibals and they also spread that delusion to everybody else that they're around. So one of the, the fun things is that they've been like infecting a city with their delusion and turning all of those people cannibals and stuff. It's kind of cool. I'm not really feeling this one either. Yeah, because, yeah, gross. Lots of blood. Lots of blood and lots of body parts. And, uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. And then we've got Soul Blight Grave Lords. This is an army of undead stuff, miscellaneous undead. Um, led by vampires, who are actually quite cool. Um, I think the vampires are, side of this is really cool, and some of the skeletons are cool. Um, Army does also have some zombies. No. Um, but a lot. But you can definitely build it all just as like vampires and skeletons and stuff. This box doesn't have any of the vampire or uh, any of the zombies in it. It's just mm -hmm. you know vampires vampire knights some skeletons i'm not really feeling it not n not into this one and now for the one that i chose that you guys have probably been wondering what it is night haunt yeah so night haunt the spooky go boys the spooky ghosts 
Um, so yeah, they're they're ghosts. They they fly through stuff. Yeah. They're scary. I like that. Um, the whole army flies. I like that too. Um, the whole army. Well, if they keep the rules basically the same, the whole army like you can't do anything to make their armor worse. So their armor saves are just always their armor saves. <laughs> um, like so. Uh, they are, and they are led by Lady Olander, a one of the fine ladies of the mortal realms. Wait, I didn't even know that, and I chose it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> she, she's kind of cool. I actually don't know much of her backstory. And mm -hmm. if you're getting into this army, I should probably go in and like learn some of the backstory with you, yeah, learn some lore. Um, yeah, Wait, this is the this is the one army that I chose that you don't know anything about. I mean, I know, I know. There's a bunch of armies that I don't know that much about, but then this this one in particular, I just don't like. I know less about this one than like most others. Dad, <laughs> the one that I like the most, you don't. All right, so here's a thing that I do want to just confirm with you because you said no gross stuff, and these guys they are still like ghostly things, right? Like they're. They have like scary faces and I stuff can't like even that. Tell scary faces. Give me a close up. Let me just see here. Well, I can't really tell on the particular models that they're giving you close ups of, but a lot of them have, you'll have like a skeleton sort of face um, or oh, undead so looking like a face. Wide, up, wide open mouth and stuff. Yeah, like you can see on this guy, he's got like it kind of looks like he's like a, a skeleton with like some people arms, and then the rest is just like a cloak that's like flying around. It's not that bad though. It's not as bad as some of the other stuff. Either. Yeah. Um, I'm so, you, still... but so the, you're still on this one. Yeah. All right. So let's go back through. We're into the top three. Did not even plan it this way, but top three. <laughs> So, Daughters of Cain, what are now that you've been through all of the armies again, what are your feelings on the Daughters of Cain? My feelings for the Daughters of Cain is, I think that if this is my first army that I will be having, then something like Daughters of Cain might not be the best choice. Hmm. So cool you like them maybe a second army or third army yeah, later on or third, like later on in like painting but like once i learn more stuff from my amazing father um about painting and stuff then i might do that okay all right you know, then the only reason i put this one in the top three is because i just thought it was funny what seraphon yeah I mean, everybody thinks Seraphon are funny. They're dinosaurs riding dinosaurs. <laughs> and they are very cool models. Yeah. Can, but, you, uh, can I get a close-up of them? Because I didn't really... I can tell that they're cool, but I don't really want this one. I could tell this one, but like... Oh, wait, that guy's really detailed. Yeah, but the thing is, is that these guys, because of the kind of detail it is, like the contrast paints re work really well, and dry brushing works really well. Um, and this guy, he's a Croxagore. Oh, I actually really like that. That doesn't look that difficult to paint again. Yeah. Like, it's, it looks like a much simpler army, easier army for a starter person. Yes, it is a very good, like, first army to paint. So, that, I guess, brings us down to Seraphon and Nighthawn. Do you have a final decision? Yes. And your final decision is? Seraphon. Really? Mm -hmm. Really, really? Yes. You've changed your mind. Yes. You you wanted Night Haunt. We've been talking Night Haunt all this time, but you want Seraphon. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess that's it. I guess we're going to have to go explore Seraphon a little bit more. And uh, now that we have apparently made a last minute change of mind, we might need to do more uh, deciding and exploring. But. Why? I, I mean, I don't know. Do Just like to them? be sure. Uh, yes, I do like them. I think they're a very cool army. Have you ever wanted to get them? Yes. But you never did. Yeah, I have not. I have not collected this army yet. I have painted like, I think I think I've painted one of the models from this army. Can I see it? I do not have it anymore. 
Anyway, uh, that is everything. So it looks like we are landing on Seraphon for Cadence's first army. So, yeah, I guess uh, at some point in the future, we will give you guys updates on that progress and learning Spearhead and Age of Sigmar and all of that. And uh, so you feeling good about your decision? Yep. All right. Well, that's going to be it for now, guys. I will talk to you all later.